Hey guys, Drew with GeoArm and I'm back to talk to you today about the 2 gig edge system and learning in the 2 gig smkt 8 e 345 This is the encrypted smoke detector, smoke slash heat detector, I apologize. So what we're going to do first here uh, to get this learned in, I've already taken the tab out. It actually comes with these little tabs between the batteries so that you can do an easy quick learn. Um, I've taken that out. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do it as if those have already been popped and this is an existing sensor. Otherwise, all you need to do is follow up to where I press the learn button and instead of tampering it like I'm gonna, just have it open and then pop the little battery tabs out and that'll do the learning procedure for you in that case. But for this one, I'm just going to do it as if those tabs were never there. So bottom right hand corner, hit the gear tab. We're going to enter our installer code, which is my, on mine is uh, 1561, uh, the factory code. We're going to scroll down to Installer Toolbox. At that point, we're going to hit Panel Programming. And then we're going to go into Wireless Zones. At that point, you'll see a listing of all your zones. We're going to choose the first available one, in, in my case, which is Zone 1, because this is a blank panel. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose Equipment Code. Hit the hamburger icon or the menu icon to the right. And then you're going to scroll down and you're going to choose the 2058 E-Series Smoke Detector for USA, obviously. Uh, for in this case, um, I, I, we may do a Canadian version at some point, but uh, for right now, this is strictly for USA. Um, so what we're going to do now is we'll press the down arrow, and then we're going to go into sensor type. You're going to hit the hamburger icon again, and in this case, you're going to choose 09, which is 24-hour fire, so that it's monitoring this smoke detector 24 hours a day. You're going to then hit the down arrow, and it's going to come up with the TXID. For TXID, you're going to go ahead and hit learn and then you're just going to pop the cover off by twisting counterclockwise. At that point it does acknowledge that it received the serial number. We're going to close that back up. We'll hit accept. Then we're going to hit the down arrow. Loop 1 for the smoke detector is fine. Hit the down arrow. Voice description. You can name this whatever you'd like. So let's call it living room smoke. As you type those in, it will auto-populate those, those fields, and then you hit done. At that, uh, once that's been learned in, you just hit the down arrow again, and you don't really need a chime on a smoke detector. It doesn't really need that, so you would skip that. Hit the down arrow, smart areas assignment, S1, leave that as it is. Then you're going to hit the down arrow again. Sensor reports, you need that to be enabled so that the sensor will send a report to the central station. And then the last option is sensor supervised. You want to keep that that way so that the system is looking for the sensor. If it ever gets tampered or the battery or anything goes bad, it'll, it'll report to the panel and let you know what's going on. Uh, at this uh, junction in the, uh, in the programming steps, you are done and you're ready to rock. This thing can be mounted. So go ahead and hit the back arrow all the way out of programming. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the Show More tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.